What must we do to become perfect? Follow Jesus Christ, that is to say, imitate Him, renouncing ourselves, taking up our cross, and walking in His footsteps. These are the words the blessed Basil Moreau, founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross, lived by and followed, as did the devoted men who came after him. Priests like Father Edward Soren, founder of the University of Notre Dame. Father William Corby, famous Civil War chaplain. Father Peter Forrestal, a pioneer in Hispanic ministry. Father Vincent Macaulay, African missionary and Bishop of Uganda. Father Theodore Hesburgh, university president and confidant of world leaders. Father Tom Streit, biologist and healer to the Haitian people. These are but a few in a great band of men who have brought light, hope, and love to the people whose lives they touched. These are the educators in the faith. These are the servant leaders. These are the priests and brothers of Holy Cross. Educators in the faith. This simple phrase describes the life work of Father Moreau and the members of the Holy Cross family who followed his path. It also defines the unique charism or shared vision of the Holy Cross congregation. This vision is personified by the work done by Holy Cross priests and brothers in its three fundamental areas, education, parish work, and missionary service. Father Moreau spoke often about approaching one's life work with zeal. Indeed, it is a zealous spirit that drives Holy Cross religious in their ministries. On a cold November day over 150 years ago, Father Soren stood on the frozen plains of northern Indiana. His vision, however, was not of hardship, but of an American Catholic university in the tradition of the medieval universities of Europe. That vision led to the founding of the University of Notre Dame, a literal and figurative landmark of academic excellence. Years later, Portland Archbishop Alexander Christie saw the value of the Notre Dame model and persuaded the Congregation of Holy Cross to assume ownership of a modest university on the bluffs over the Willamette River an institution known today as the University of Portland. And so from the very beginning, Father Moreau, when he founded the order, saw it as a real significant part of our mission was to, to educate, to, to educate the young people, to train them, because he saw that real need with the schools. So including even when he started sending people out to North America and to Algeria and to Bengal, uh, from the very beginning, that was our mission to be involved in education. Obviously, we do other things as well. But that component of education as part of Holy Cross has been really part of uh, what we are from our founding by Father Moreau back in the early uh, 19th century. There's always been a commitment at the center to education. And education and prayer and religious life is at the heart of what we do. Of course, the Holy Cross ministry is not limited to higher education. Today, the congregation serves in high schools, as well as Holy Cross parish and mission schools. We care about the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. And uh, that's an essential part of the Holy Cross legacy from Basil Moreau. It was a, a part of the vision of Father Soren here at Notre Dame. Uh, and it's something that all of us very comfortably talk about and try to enact on a regular basis as much as we can. Despite his role on the global stage, Father Hesburgh often said that all he ever really wanted to be was a parish priest. This aspiration is shared by hundreds of Holy Cross priests in their ministries in local parishes. The most rewarding part of uh, being in a parish has been encountering great families and people who are just deeply concerned with forming their families in faith and just bringing their children up with a great uh, Catholic upbringing, loving the Lord and experiencing the sacraments. I think there's um, 
There's so many, you know, different commitments that pull at families. And uh, I see people in our parish who really have just committed themselves in their lives to saying, you know what, this is what we as a family choose. This is where we spend our time. This is where we volunteer. This is where we um, come and encounter the Lord and, uh, and form communities of people. When Father Soren came to Indiana, he founded a number of parishes in the area. In all, the Indiana province staffs 16 parishes and has a presence in churches throughout the Western United States. Just as missionaries were sent by Father Moreau from France to the United States, the congregation continues its heritage through mission work among communities in Africa, Bangladesh, Latin America, Haiti, the Philippines, and elsewhere. The goals of this work are both basic and profound. To make God known, loved, and served, and to boldly address the world's tremendous needs for justice and charity. The zeal by which this ministry is dispensed is obvious in all those who serve. Missionary work is important because it gives a side of the universality of the church that somehow is not, just, not fully experienced just through having diocesan clergy and, not, and through having local religious communities. So as much as people from other lands can come and share the Word of God in lands that are, they're not their own setting, they give a wider picture and the universality of the church, which is important for people to remember. Following in the footsteps of the great band of Holy Cross priests and brothers requires looking ahead to the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. Educators in the faith is a simple phrase, but these few words are profound in the way they speak to the past, present, and future martyrs, saints, servants, and teachers who are the Congregation of Holy Cross. They are the voices for God's justice. They are the teachers of our children. They are the potential touchstones of social responsibility for world leaders. They are the beacons of hope in places where there are few. <laughs>